Hey guys, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a chit chat get ready with me featuring some new products. So I'm going to be trying out the Too Faced White Peach Palette and then I have some new lipsticks from Flirt Cosmetics that are supposed to give you your lips like a 3D effect. So I'll share swatches and all that in this video. But if you want to just hang out and get ready with me, chit chat with me, all that good stuff, then just keep on watching. But before we jump into the video, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jack Jack. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that way you are notified of future videos and you officially become part of the Little Flower family. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've sat down and just did my makeup, did a chit chat, get ready with me with you guys. So I'm really excited. Today I have a few new products that I want to try out. This one I'm super excited about. It's from Flirt Cosmetics. This is the Triple Lip puffy pout lipsticks so I'm gonna swatch all of these in this video so you'll see them all but apparently it's supposed to give you a three-dimensional look on your lips so pretty excited to try this out and then I also got this cute little PR package from Too Faced with the white peach palette so I want to use this bad boy as well so what else is there anything else new that I'm trying um this foundation from Collab as well. This is the Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. I've tried this mixed in with another foundation, but I haven't tried it on its own. So we'll give that a try, and I also hope that this matches me. I, I'm a little scared it's going to be too dark, but we'll try it out. So anyways, let's just jump in and get straight to the brows. I'm going to take the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. I've been really, really loving this pencil. I just find that it's so easy to use and I like the formula and consistency of it. It's not too drying, but it's not too creamy at the same time. So I just quickly go over my brows with this and then brush it out with the spoolie that it comes with on the other end. And I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I am using the shade Soft Brunette, which I think is a really nice shade. It's not too dark or too harsh on my brows. So I'm just going to fill those in to just define my brows, give them a little bit more definition and shape, and then we can move on to the eyes. Okay, brows are done. So now let's move on to the eyes, and I'm going to first prep them with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This, you guys, I feel like is almost time to retire. I am running out of this. Oh yeah, I can't even see in there. There's like hardly anything left. I'm just like scraping off the rest on the sides. But I'm going to apply this on to my eyelids to prep my eyes for eyeshadow. I have been obsessed with this little sponge thingy. I believe this is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. If I'm wrong, I will leave the correct link in the description box for you guys. But this little like silicone sponge thing, it's so like... The texture of it is just so much better than the original silicone sponge that went really viral not too long ago. This one is way better and I actually really, really like it. So I'm using that to blend in the concealer on my eyelid. If you guys haven't tried this, highly recommend you do. I think it's so good. It gives you such a flawless finish. You use all the product because it's not like soaking it up like a typical um, sponge. But then this just, it feels so much nicer than the previous silicone sponge. Like, let me see if I can grab it from my collection and show you guys the difference between these sponges because it's like literally night and day. Okay, so this was the silicone sponge that went viral not too long ago and it's like it's super hard and I tried this out in a video. I've only used this once in a video because I just hated it. I tried using it off camera a few times but I just was not having it and it's just like it's super rough and not rough but like stiff. It's very stiff whereas this one is just like super jello-y and flimsy but I feel like it gives you more control in a way. Like the sponge will like cradle your finger a lot better. So it's literally like you're blending it out with your finger. If you were to do it with this one, it's just like you can't really create that same effect because this one is just so stiff. And as far as the way it feels, like they're both silicone. So they feel like pretty similar. But like this is just so much softer. This feels more plasticky. This feels like plasticky but softer. <laughs> Does that make sense? Plus this one comes with a little sleeve to put your finger in. 
so it's just so much easier to use like this one I highly highly recommend it sucks I can't remember off the top of my head if this is from elf or shop hush but again I will leave the correct link down below for you guys so now that the concealer is blended in I'm just going to take my setting powder and press that on to I haven't tried it with the sponge but I wonder if I can set it with the silicone sponge this will be my first time trying this method out so I got my sponge here got the powder okay oh I think it works can you tell what powder I'm using okay so good that actually worked really nicely now for eyeshadows, this is the Too Faced White Peach Palette. Ta-da! So pretty. I really like the colors. I feel like they're all fairly easy to wear. Um, you have your shades that you can create like smoky looks and purple. I love when there's like a pop of purple because I feel like out of all the crazy colors to wear on your eyes, purple is the easiest to do. And then I'm loving orange because obviously it matches my hair. So let's go ahead. I don't even know what kind of look I'm doing. I'm going to start by taking the shade Peach Sorbet. I'm going to take that on a fluffy blending brush and just blend that into my crease with windshield wiper motions. I'm using this as my transition shade. So I'm just popping that pretty messily into the crease. But of course making sure everything is blended out so that there's like no harsh lines or anything like that. But it's a pretty subtle color, so you really can't see it too well. I don't know if it's even picking up on camera right now. Let's go in with... There's no, like, super dark shades in here. Other than the black. Um, let's take Sweet Fig right here and blend that into the crease as well. Okay. That's a little better. I for sure want to take that orange shade in here called creme de la peach so i'm going to take that it's a little bit of a shimmery shade but it's not too like it's not too shimmery it's nothing like this peach passion shade over here so with the same brush i'm taking the orange shade and just again blending it in the same area i've blended the other two colors there's no like dark brown in here to like deepen up the crease or outer corner so let's see am i gonna have to take this shade fuzzy it's like a gray shade I have no idea where I'm going with this look, you guys. Let's see if I put it right here. No, that's like super light, actually. Yeah, I, don't, I actually don't like that. Let me go back, cover that up with some orange. They're like super, super powdery. You can see I'm just like tapping my brush into the orange. And it's like getting super messy in the palette. I don't know how I'm feeling about this so far. With a flat shader brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Glistening Peach, which is this really pretty shimmery color right here. I'm going to pack this on the lid and see. Well, that's pretty. I like that. Maybe I'll keep this just on the inner half of the eye and use a darker shade on the outer half. Let's give that a try. So far, this Glistening Peach is my favorite shade in the palette. It's so pretty and easy to work with. There is some fallout, like some glitter fallout, so just keep that in mind if you're doing like your foundation and stuff first. I want to take the shade Peach Passion, which is this purple shade over here. We're going to take this on, it's like showing up on my brush black. I'm a little nervous. We're going to tap this on the outer half of the lid. Okay like blue, purple, black with all the shimmers. So I'm just tapping it. I haven't blended these two together yet so so give me a second, give me a second. I'll get there but I'm just going to press this shade onto the outer half of the lid. So if you guys haven't seen yet, I've been doing a lot of like planner related videos and lettering videos on my Facebook page so if you're into that, make sure you go like my Facebook page. I've been posting a lot of content over there and occasional mukbangs as well. 
I feel like my Facebook page is going to be a nice outlet for like all the random things that I want to be doing because I really want to keep, I think the dog, yeah, the dogs are barking. I really want to keep this channel just beauty. But truthfully, this is a lifestyle channel, so you'll see a bunch of different things here. So I'm taking the Creme de la Peach shade again and just softly going into the crease again to soften the edges of that like darker color we applied. And then picking up that glistening peach shade again, I'm just gonna go over the center to help blend the two shades together. So it's not like just a straight line. It's aight. There is fallout for days. We need a highlight shade. Okay, so I'm gonna take peach cream right here. Just a little bit of that. Oh yeah, for sure, tap that off. And place that right under the brow bone to highlight. I think I'll use Peaches and Dreams. I'm trying to use like all the colors here. Peaches and Dream. And pop that on the inner corner. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I like that. I like this shade a lot. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to take Peach Passion on a pencil brush and drag that onto my lower lash line. That color is so pretty. I'm able to see it a lot better now. <gasps> wow, it's really, really pretty. This color reminds me of like a galaxy. Like all the little shimmers look like stars. It's so pretty. For liner, I wanted to stick with browns. So I have these two from Collab. The Collab Ink Addict liner pen. So this is like a felt tip liner pen. This is in the shade Illicit. And then the Collab Bold Face Liner Waterproof Eyeliner eyelining pencil and ego so they're both brown I'm gonna take the pencil first and just drag this on my waterline I like the collab pencil I feel like they're super pigmented they actually remind me of the NYX ones those really creamy pigmented NYX eyeliners I feel like these are comparable I'm not sure which one's cheaper I feel like the NYX ones might be cheaper or maybe this one Collab you can find at Sally's Beauty Supply. So now with the liner pen, I'm going to line my eyes and of course create a wing. This brown liner is so deep, it actually looks black. I wish it was a little more true brown rather than a black brown. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I'm gonna apply this to my top and bottom lashes. Truthfully, if I had to be honest about the eyeshadow palette, I love Too Faced. Too Faced is one of my favorite brands because I really like the quality of their products. But this eyeshadow palette was a little mediocre in my opinion. I feel like if you already have eyeshadows, you don't really need to bother with this one. I'd rather just stick with the Just Peachy Mattes. I feel like this is way better than this guy right here. And you can leave it like this. You can be done with, oh my word. I just got mascara right under my wing liner. Yikes. And this is why I like to do my eyes first. So you can leave it like this, but of course I'm gonna go in with some false lashes and I'm gonna take the magnetic lashes from Ardell. I've been really, really liking these. I know I didn't do a favorites video for February, but if I did, I would for sure have mentioned these because this is all, that I've been wearing, the Magnetic Lashes. They were a little tough to get used to at first, but I actually really like them now. There are some days and some moments where I'm like struggling a little bit, but for the most part, I think I got the hang of it. So I'm gonna use the style Double Demi Wispies. I find it's easier to use these when your lashes, your, your natural lashes, when they're a little bit wet from your mascara. So the lashes are on on this side, so let's go ahead and apply them to the next side. So I'm just loading up on a little bit more mascara here. And then I'm going to place the top one down on the top part of my lashes. And then this bottom one, just slide it on up underneath. Kind of pinch my lashes together with my fingers to adjust and make sure everything is nice and comfortable on my lashes. 
And there you have it. The Magnetic Lashes. I just like the idea of these because if you're out and about and your lashes are like irritating you or you need to reapply them, you don't have to carry around glue with you, which I would do so often every time I wear like fake lashes, I would carry glue in my purse. You don't have to worry about that because since they're magnetic, if they're like, if they're starting to lift or anything like that, if they're coming off or they're just feeling a little uncomfortable, you can take them off and just reapply them right then and there. So super, super easy and I really do like them. So to prime my face, I am using the Derma E Rejuvenating Sage and Lavender Face Oil. You guys know my love for oils, face oils. I'm just, they're everything to me. And you really don't need to apply too much. Like the amount I applied just now is probably too much for like normal skin types, but I have dry skin, so I like a little bit extra. For primer, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I haven't used this in a hot second, so decided I'd give it a try again today. And I find that this works better with my skin tone when I do apply a face oil first. So otherwise, this will be super dry and flaky on my skin. And then I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of blend it all into place. Now for foundation, we are gonna be trying out the Collab Bright Spark Radiant Foundation in the shade Tan. That sounds like it's gonna to be too dark for me. So, I don't know, let's just, let's just try it out. I don't know why I applied this onto the back of my hand. I normally never do that. Why did I do that today? I'm gonna to take my sponge, grab the product. It's a little dark but maybe we can make it work. I have two foundations from Collab. Um, there are different formulas. One is matte and then this one is the radiant one. The matte one is too light for me and this radiant one is too dark for me. I'm hoping once I add like my concealer, it'll just brighten up my complexion and hopefully not look so dark. Maybe I'll just look super tan today. Definitely gotta blend it onto my neck. I have to say, I think I'm more of a fan of the matte formula, the matte foundation from Collab. If you guys have tried them, let me know what you think. The coverage kind of sucks on this, if I'm going to be honest. So there's that for the foundation. Yikes! Let's go in with the concealer, Tarte Shape Tape of course. I'm going to load up on this baby. Hopefully, if I load up on this, it'll make it a little less noticeable that I'm wearing the wrong foundation shade. I'm still working on blending all this out, but I feel like it's looking a lot better. And of course, time to set everything with powder. I'm going to take this June & Co. like fluffy brush. I'm going to just tap this onto my face really get under my eyes. <gasps> Ugh. My nose is flaking off, you guys. I'm so pissed. For bronzer, I'm gonna take the Ulta Beauty Baked Bronzer just to warm up my face. This is a super warm tone bronzer, so you gotta be careful or else you're just gonna look like a burnt potato. I'm going to pinch my brush Take just a little bit and go down the sides of my nose. Do my quick little nose contour. I make a V at the tip of my nose like this. And then I kind of, I don't know, round it out the top like that. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to take the Tarte Exposed Blush. And this brush is from Collab. I'm just going to... Take that on the brush, tap it off, and just hit the cheekbones like this, or the apples of my cheeks, I should say, just for a little flush of color. Nothing too much, nothing too dramatic or bright. My nose is really bugging me right now. It's so splotchy. I wonder if it's from the foundation or the primer. I was trying out too many new things at once, so I can't decide what it is. 
For highlight, I'm going to use the Aura Glow Liquid Highlighter from J-Cats. Um, this is in White Goddess, and I felt like it goes hand in hand with like White Peach, White Goddess. So I want to use this. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand like that. And then I think the best way to apply this would be just with my finger. And I don't want to apply too much because like that's a lot, that one drop I did. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and press it on to my cheekbones. It's always better to start with like a little and then just build it. So that's what I'm doing. Just going to keep adding it until I am happy with the intensity of the highlight. Ooh, that is so pretty. Let's take a little... I mean, everything on my nose right now is kind of a disaster. Might as well just add to the party. Put a little bit on the nose and then down the bridge just a little bit. Oh, it's so pretty. I like this highlight so much. Oh, that's so pretty. Cupid's bow, of course. Do a little more just right here. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, that's pretty. I want to take just a tiny bit, pop it into my inner corner. I know I added a highlight there already. Oh, I like this one, though. Just to intensify that inner corner highlight. Just a tad more. Woo! Last but not least, the lips. And I have the four different lipsticks from Flirt Cosmetics here. I want to just I'll go ahead and swatch them all for you, honestly. So let me first open all of them. The packaging is super pretty. It has like this cartoon lipstick mouth. I wanted to do a swatch video of this, but I don't think you guys like just the dedicated lip swatch videos because the views don't do so well on my channel. So that's why I decided to incorporate it in this video. So there's three different shades. You have the darker, the lighter, and then white in the middle. It came with like a little, um, a little paper on how to apply it properly. So I'll be sure to demonstrate it properly with you guys. So this was 3D Peach. That's what this shade was. We've got 3D Nude. Ooh. This one is 3D Rose. And then 3D Red. This doesn't look red at all to me, but we'll try it out. Okay, let's start with the peach shade. So it says, apply across your lips with the pointed facing up. Oh, interesting. And then to apply the bottom, you point the lipstick downwards so the pointy side is facing down, which is awkward. Who does that? That's weird. But I get it because you want the darker side on the outside. So there's what it looks like. So look at how gross this part looks now. I don't know if you're supposed to wipe that off every time. So now it says like press your lips together or use your finger to blend the shades together. I mean, I see it. You guys see it, right? Like the definition and the little bit of like ombre effect it gives with the lips. I will say because my lips are so small, I'm really only getting the top shade and then the white shade. This bottom shade is kind of like disappearing completely because my lips are just so small, but here is what 3D Peach looks like. Okay, now let's try 3D Nude, which looks very dark for a nude, but let's try it out. Applying the bottom color on your bottom lip is super awkward. I don't like it. This one is giving me like serious 90s vibe with like the dark lip liner on the outside. I mean, I'm not hating on it, but not loving it either. Let's try 3D Rose now. I mean, I understand what they were trying to do and I slightly see it, but I just, I don't know if I'm a fan of it to be honest. Last but not least, we have 3D Red, so let's give it a try. You guys know me. 
I'm not really a red lip kind of girl. Uh-uh. Okay, what I don't like is that it is so awkward to apply onto your bottom lip. I'm following the instructions, but that's just such an awkward angle to apply lipstick, and there is no way to control where you're applying it. I like the ombre effect with this red, though. I feel like that's really pretty, but you do see this line is not precise whatsoever. I think, oddly enough, I think the red one might be my favorite. I feel like the way the colors blend just looks so pretty. Okay, okay. I'll give it a try. I'll wear it out and see how it holds and what I think. But um, that was just my quick first impression of what I thought of the lipsticks. I, I do like the idea of it. I just, I feel like, I feel like it was just a little off. And then the eyeshadow palette, I honestly was not super crazy about this wouldn't be a palette I would recommend if I'm being honest you guys are my friends I would not recommend this palette to you because yeah there's color there yeah there's pigmentation but it's just like weak the palette itself to me is just a little weak I feel like Too Faced they do such an amazing job when they um, have like these huge mega launches like Everything they did for like the Sweet Peach collection, that was epic and I loved like almost all the products that were in that collection. But these other like smaller collections that they just try to like pop out, they're just like rushing through it. So the end results like definitely shows. So girlfriend to girlfriend, I wouldn't get this palette. Sorry. And then also, I don't know what it is, if it was the Milk Makeup Blur Stick or the Collab Radiant Foundation. Um... I've tried this before and I've had some issues here and there with it and I've tried this once before, wasn't crazy about it. So I think ultimately I just don't like these two products and together it's just even worse. But I just think these are, I'm not going to say I hate these products, but on the top of like my favorites list, these would be at the very, 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 very bottom. Very, very bottom. Way, way bottom. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and I hope you enjoyed hearing my first impression review on some of these products and that are new and that are old products that I've been using. I hope you guys enjoyed my input. If you have a different opinion or a different experience with any of the products that I mentioned in today's video, I would love to hear it in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!